Top 10 Forgotten Federated and May Department Stores For the last few decades, the department store's landscape has undergone many changes as today's customers turn to Forever 21, H&M, and Zara. It wasn't long ago before they invested money in the now defunct stores such as Hex, Marshall Fields, and Riches. If you're excited to ride down memory lane, we have a top 10 of the most recognizable department stores that no longer exist. Before we begin today's video, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss the latest updates from the channel. 10. Goldsmiths Goldsmith was founded in 1870 by German immigrant brothers Jacob and Isaac Goldsmith in Memphis, Tennessee. It later relocated to a larger facility at 125 Main in 1895, in which they occupied until 1993. Goldsmiths was acquired by Federated Department Stores in 1959. It wasn't until the 1960s before they began to build suburban locations, eventually opening a three-story store at Oak Court. They opened another store at Southland Mall in 1996 and its fourth store in Rally Springs Mall in 1971. The last Goldsmith store was open in 1997 at Wolf Chase Galleria. All of Goldsmith stores were located in Memphis, Tennessee, with the exception of one location in Jackson, Tennessee, which is located 85 miles from Memphis. In 2005, the nameplate was discontinued and replaced by Macy's as of 2021. Only three of the former Goldsmith stores continue to operate as Macy's. 9. Filene's Established by William Filene in the late 1800s, it was a department store based out of Boston, Massachusetts, where there were nearly 50 brick-and-mortar stores in New England and New York. In 1908, Edward Filene opened Filene's Basement as a way to sell excess merchandise from his upstairs department store. Filene's was one of the holding company's founding members when Federated Department Stores, now Macy's Incorporated, was created in 1929. In 1988, Filene's was sold to the May Department Stores Corporation, and by 2006, Macy's had absorbed the name. Filene's basement was separately owned and operated and was not affected by the merger. However, they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2011, which resulted in liquidating and the permanently closing of all of its stores. 8. Kaufman's Kaufman's was founded in Pittsburgh by brothers Morris, Jacob, and Isaac Kaufman in 1871. It originally operated as a men's store, but in 1931, it grew into a department store after constructing a three-story, 700,000-square-foot building at the corner of Six and Smithfield in downtown Pittsburgh. It was acquired by the May Company in 1946, with the Kaufman family remaining as the president. It only operated stores in New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. In 2005, like most stores on this list, it was acquired by Federated Department Stores and the name was retired and branded as Macy's in 2006. 7. Lazarus the FNR Lazarus & Company, commonly known as Lazarus, was a regional department store chain based mainly in the Midwest. It was founded by Simon Lazarus in 1851 as a one-room men's clothing store. The Lazarus family has played a role as a founding partner in federated department stores, with Fred Lazarus Jr. serving as president from its founding until 1947. Lazarus expanded over the years by acquiring many chains in the area such as Reich's, Herpelsheimer's, and William H. Block. In 1995, it merged with Atlanta Base's Riches Department Store and retained its name. In 2003, it was dual branded as Lazarus Macy's prior to the 2006 name change. 6. Foley's Founded by brothers Pat and James Foley in 1900 in Houston, Texas, as Foley's Brothers. In 1947, it was purchased by Federated Department Stores just 47 years after the first store opened. In 1960, it opened its first branch store at Sharpstown Shopping Center and continued to add more stores in the Houston area. By the 1970s and 1980s, it made its footprint in Austin and San Antonio, Texas. In 1987, it absorbed Federated Singer Harris Chain, 
which had locations in Arizona, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. Federated sold Foley's along with Filene's to May department stores in 1988. Foley's made a few more consolidations throughout the 90s and early 2000s before being reacquired by Federated when it took over a May company in 2005. At the beginning of 2006, advertisement read Foley's, now part of the Macy's family, shortly before being rebranded. 5. Strawbridges Strawbridge and Clothier began as a dry goods store in 1868 by Quakers Justice, Clayton Strawbridge, and Isaac Hollowell Clothier in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In the 1930s, the company almost went bankrupt due to constructing a new building at the cost of $7 million during the Great Depression. This building was designed to be 13 stories and feature a Bukes art style. This building would later become an anchor to a shopping center known as the Gallery in the 1970s. In 1995, the company was purchased by May Department Stores Company after outbidding Federated Department Stores. This eliminated ties with the company from the Strawbridge family. After the sale, the name was shorted to Strawbridges and was phased out in 2006 in favor of Macy's. 4. Marshall Fields Marshall Fields was originally named the P. Palmer & Company when it was opened and founded by Potter Palmer in 1852. The original location in Chicago was burnt and damaged in 1871 due to the Great Chicago Fire. Marshall Fields became a public company in 1930 during the Great Depression. In 1990, the chain was sold to Dayton Hudson Corporation, which would later become Target Corporation. In 2004, the chain was sold to May Department Stores, which was later Federated Department Stores after the company was acquired in 2005. In September of 2006, the stores were renamed Macy's, which left many loyal shoppers betrayed. By December of that year, Macy's reported 30% slower sales in former Marshall Field stores. 3. Burdines Burdines was a Miami, Florida-based chain of department stores. It opened in 1897 as a dry goods shop in Barstow, Florida. It was founded by business partners Henry Payne and William M. Burdine, then was later discovered by John Burdine. In the 1900s, Burdines grew into a full department store after the Roaring Twenties helped land its first branch in Miami Beach. Another four other locations opened by the 1940s due to Florida's soaring population. The stores were merged into Federated Department Stores Incorporated in 1956. This gave the Florida-based chain a more widespread coverage of the state. It became an anchor store to many malls across the state during the 1960s and 1970s. By the early 2000s, Burdines operated close to 60 locations after absorbing the Ma's Brothers Jordan Marsh Florida chain. The name Burdines was reappointed on January 30, 2004 and is now called Burdine's Macy's. One year later, on March 6, 2005, many outlets were rebranded as Macy's, though quite a few were shuttered. Burdine's was a very popular department store chain and was known as the Florida Store. Decorated with palm trees in the center of the store, painted in pink and blue, and decorated with other subtropical colors and motifs. 2. Riches Established in Atlanta, Georgia by the Rich Brothers in 1867, Riches operated as a dry merchandiser and became a complete department store in 1901. Its first suburban store, now Macy's, opened in Lenox Square in 1959. In 1976, Federated purchased the chain ending over 100 years of ownership by the Rich family. In 1994, Federated purchased the Macy's chain, which was already a rival chain under the Davidson's name. Riches and Macy's were overlapping in many markets, which resulted in Riches being a higher-end store while Macy's was a lower-end store. In 2003, Riches was co-branded as Riches Macy's to slowly phase out the Riches chain. By 2005, the entire name was eliminated as the nameplate was retired. Two holiday traditions that were associated with the company is the Great Tree and Pink Pig Flyer. Both of these traditions continue to present day. 1. Lord & Taylor 
Lord & Taylor is known as the oldest department store in the U.S. and was founded in New York City. It originally started in 1824 when Samuel Lord opened a dry goods firm in New York, and in 1826 it became the name we know today as Lord & Taylor. It operated on Catherine Lane and what is now Two Bridges in Manhattan as the original store. A second location soon followed in 1859 on Broadway at Grand Street. The Lord & Taylor Building and Headquarters were opened in 1914 between 38th and 39th Streets. The chain was purchased by May Department Stores in 1986. Between 1989 and 1990, May began converting many of its upscale chains such as Woodward and Lothrop, Wanamakers, and Hain & Co. to the Lord & Taylor nameplate. Once Federated Department Stores purchased May Department Stores in 2005, it was announced that the chain would be put up for sale. In 2006, seven locations were either shuttered or converted to Macy's stores. Later in the year, it was sold to NRDC Equity Partners, later Hudson Bay Company, for $1.2 billion after Federated completed the conversions and closures of the seven stores mentioned before. With this move, the Lord & Taylor name was spared from becoming Macy's altogether. Lord & Taylor would continue to operate until 2021 after a terrible holiday season, impacts of COVID-19 and bankruptcies. So guys, this is it for today. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Please comment below if you know of any other federated or May department stores that weren't mentioned in today's video. Thanks for watching.